Hey, what's up guys? This is Poker Express, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos. Let's jump straight into the action. He's seen Phil's min race. Oh, and look at Phil's going to get a bite on, on this one. Yeah. There you yeah. go. I was like, not fun this time, pal. We'll have some time to... Uh... The screen is too big in front of me that I can't even see the top left corner. 46 players. 46 in the entrance, 32 left. Oh, ah. hello. Hi, my name's Phil. I've got aces. On the button. Goes for a small size in, less than 3x in position. And uh, you. It's one of those guys, right? Like Phil Ivy, you got 10 8 suited, you get 3 bet. You're gonna, you're gonna want to peel, right? You wanna, yeah. You wanna try to. Take out Phil. I'm kind of surprised Phil's gone for such a small sizing. Small sizing, yeah. I mean. Hey, you wonder if he's balanced or if yeah, he's Yeah, it just feels to me like he's like, I've got aces, I'll make it small, then he'll cool. Yeah. He's also a little bit a little bit shorter. I mean. I don't know uh, much about you, though. I don't know if, uh, Jeff, you've come across him before. No, not familiar. It's bored that Ivy just flops top set, which is... It's always nice to have top set, but also it's unlikely on this texture unless his opponent has a flush draw, he's going to get much action. But there's still some stuff. I mean, if, if he has fours, fives, or obviously spades. All right, yeah. Occasionally you get really lucky and they have the case ace. Look at that small bet. You never know. 10 into 58, yeah. That's a, that's, it's almost, I don't want to use the word disrespectful, <laughs> but it's like <laughs> it's almost a, a little like. Kicking sand in his face. Yeah, like, hey, man. Open up the door to let him do something creative, but yeah, top set. Everything's so deliberate with Ivy. Look at this. Like he picks up the chips. It's just like a one at a time. There's no yeah. rush here. You or I, Jeff, would be two hand. <laughs> Jason's desperate to get on this table, isn't he? He was talking. Yeah. To, he was talking to the final table. Now he's talking to our feature table. You'll get your chance, Jason. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of events. Again, the field size all cut in half almost with the uh, the vi coronavirus scare, we could say. I think they're expecting 80 or so, around 40-something. Yeah. But still a lot of big names. Yeah, I mean, uh, these are still here. big fields for yeah, the size uh, high-order events. Yeah. Yeah. You popping up under the gun. Phil, just let him pin in behind with the ace-queen. Yeah, I like it. It's one of those hands, just three-bet. You don't want to... Three bet fold, keeping some worse hands does accomplish a lot. And also, Ace Queen, I tell you, just <laughs> it doesn't not win, that right? Great a hand, it's hard. Can't fold, you get a penalty, but it's not just trying enough, to of course, three bet you pot. won just a couple of hands ago. This one doesn't, but it does allow Sir Guy and Ben in as well from the big. Yeah. Mm. Wow. You see four way. Wow, wow, wow. Ben with the flush draw, Phil, top two. You with well, the gut short, backdoor clubs. Yes, pretty pretty big uh, flop for a hold'em for everyone to have. Yes. Ivy's got to love this. Cool. That watch he's got on there. It's a nice looking watch. I don't know what that is. Got a little watch on, got the stony on, and got the got the Russian cap on. Yep. It's going all out today. 25k the bet. Ben Heath with... A purely well, he's got the, he's got a backdoor gutter or backdoor uh, low wheel draw too. Right. It's gonna be got a one of those spots multi way a low flush draw shrinks up a lot, especially against someone who you just know you <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna hit it and probably not get paid. Uh, you you it's got some potential here. Right, his draw is a little bit more concealed, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he does the slide to make that cool. <coughs> Yeah, definitely a Broadway card. Not the one he was looking for exactly, but does improve his hand. Okay. One of the worst cards in Ivy's mind. It's a player raised and calls, so he's got to think he might likely hands are ace jack, ace king. All right. You Could play kings. ace king like this. You're right. So it's uh, not your dream card. Also, didn't want to see a heart. So. He's still going to be value betting though. And you, if he calls here. I can't 
see how he can cool again. Yeah, I'd be surprised. I mean, he just seems very interested. But yeah, how it's hard, right? What are you looking to hit? Like, I quite like the flop call, but Phil betting twice, having bet this flop full way. Is he thinking about making a move at this? Gotta believe Phil's looks pretty interested, right? Betting 50 here with his stack size, what's in the pot. He looks like he's ready to make a move. It certainly wouldn't work. I mean, it's a pretty sick spot, right? Because he can have ace king, he can have ace queen. He can have kings, he can have queens, he can have aces. Whereas Phil, just flooding preflop, doesn't have ace king. Probably doesn't have an ace queen, although he does in this instance. Doesn't have queens, kings, or aces. So his only rule of strong hands would be a hand like a7 or pocket 7. So it's definitely an avenue, but second in all the millions. A lot of big cashes <coughs> to that guy's name. Yeah, tournaments are, it's a lot about confidence, a lot about momentum. And, and you see a lot of the best players in the world, you know, you could start saying who's the best or who's some of the best but it really kind of goes in waves you see the the top guys sort of just catch stride and, and put together string and you know for those at this level and these kind of binds if you go on a downswing it's it's pretty costly as well like you might Huge, yeah. you see guys that are great players and that you don't hear their name for a, a couple months or a year and you're like you know it can be pretty pretty intense this one checking all the way through to the river and so you're going to win this at showdown. He might try and squeeze a little something out of this one. I don't think he can. I don't think value betting here makes a ton of sense. But I mean, you I got guess. a nut six, right? Yeah, he yeah. does go for it. To open up a door to a creative player, but. I know, hard for Phil to rep anything this way this one's played out. Yeah, and the problem here for Phil, like if. There you go. Bet does work. Calls. I don't. I don't like that call because I think if Sergey had Jack Ten, Jack right. Queen, those type of hands, he's going to bet be betting on the turn. He's not going to check it down and then just take a random I'm shot on a no equity bluff. But yeah, I, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't think. I don't know if I would bet that river from Sir, Sergey, and I definitely wouldn't have called if I'm Phil. But look, these guys probably aren't going to. If you enjoy our videos and would like to see more, make sure to check out the links in the description. Also, make sure to comment below what you would like to see next, and we will work on your ideas as soon as possible. Phil opening up his range here with the king three suited, and both both players with a similar stack. I thought Ben had a little more chips, but I guess he's lost a couple small pots. Yeah, just that last hand there, these little nicks. Okay, yeah, he was at around 300. It's not, not much. Blinds are up. So, 7 8 and King 3 suited. Fair fight, but the King 3 suited with position is always going to be nice. Yeah. Both flip the same gut shot, looking for a 10. Yeah, this is a good one for Ivy to bet. He's got blocker to the nuts. He's got running flush draws. Going to get some weak aces to fold that he's ahead of. Or, I'm sorry, that he's behind. And then he's going to also deny equity again to some other hands but tough spot if you're Ben you know that's a problem you don't want to be drawing to the uh -huh. rear end of the straight and uh, gets out of the way for that exact situation those hands the king x's that are betting Phil Phil knows what he's doing also <laughs> realize got to work got to got to deal with the ivy and the big blind All right, a little something going on here. Got a gut shot for Alexi. Backdoor spades with the eight of spades. Phil's second pair, happy to check it back. And well, he picks up his own gut shot. Double gutted now for Alexi. Phil, I'm a little surprised he checked that back, but I think it's fine either way. And he's met with a certainly corner. not going anywhere. Lexi debating if he does have a does have a spade in his hand, does have some blockers to the straight. Does he want to bet? What's he getting to fold? Right, he can. He's gonna give it a go. 
Yeah, 23 into 34 on two thirds. Mm, I mean, I Interesting think based spot. on how he's seen oh. player play, I think he's uh, thinks he plays pretty snug, but got to think about it here. All right, is he thinking, does, does Alexi better five here, just kind of protection? Is he turn to five, but river another one? Is he? I think Ivy can work out a call here, although I, it's not a it's not a slam dunk call. I don't know five. Does he bet a five? And then it's it's like uh, it's maybe he just has a jack that he checked and then yeah. decided to start betting. But I mean, what are the bluffs? Like eight x for sure. And, I mean, Phil hasn't seen anything for this guy other than him turn over good hands, and that's why he folds. You know, I think I, I think I like it. Nice bet, and yeah, it makes sense. Fold makes sense. He's got a good hand to bluff with. He's got the eight and the spade. Yeah. Phil in with sixes. Sergey checking his eight six in the big. And well, oh. gets a little interest in this flop nine nine seven. The open ender. Expect Sir get a bet here. It's a pretty pretty good right. flop. You got eight high and you flop open ended in a limp pot. Yeah. <laughs> Phil of course going nowhere with his two pair. Checks the turn once more. Sir so definitely could fire this again. He's thinking Phil could limp in, just have a lot of ace highs that's going to stick on for one. Right, so go bigger here, and that's exactly what he's done. He's bet pot. Again, I think with a pair, does Phil have to stick around here? Mm, sizing's pretty big. It's tough, right? I don't, I don't think go. so. Like, It's hard now. What are you doing? And the, is he betting a seven, though, like that? So it's kind of like Cheap. a nine or nothing. Ru Russian hat Ivy's got going is, it's is classic. I love it. It's really getting into the... Getting into the, the, the swing of things here. Ivy's already tough enough. Imagine a, a, a Russian Ivy <laughs> add a little extra, you know, bravado. Yeah. Tricky defending Queen Six against his good pal. Yep. And Ivy gonna go for a bet. Queen six off, cut off maybe against the button. Seems a little wide. It's one of the weaker hands. How low do we think that shirt goes, Jeff? How much? Sam's, Sam's little uh, pattern little shirt. It seems like we got little buttons open there. I yeah, couldn't, couldn't quite see the bottom of the. Uh, Just hear that button. That's what we all like. Life's about. I'm just in life in general. <laughs> <laughs> What are you here for, Phil? Are you working? I'm not sure. Some days it does feel like work. Alexi flopping west on Ace King 6. Expect him to check back here a lot. He's going to bet this for Pelosi and he's king six. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have been surprised to see him check, but on various stack sizes. But I think, uh, you know, he's not, he's generally probably not used to playing a lot of short 10 blind, 15 right. blind poker. I mean, he knows how, he knows what to do. It's just, it's not his. Uh, it's not his wheelhouse, is it? Yeah. He's, he wants and to be in there betting like hundreds of thousands of dollars in deep stack cash games. It's interesting here. It looks like he raised king queen suited to seventy. Yeah, decision. off a pretty short stack. It's and if you're Webster here, <laughs> you're kinda, again, it's like bottom bottom of where you want to be at, right? Yeah, kind of thinking. What is Phil? Is Phil shoving? You would think he might shove a hand like this, right? Like a hand, like he's going to be min raising a lot of king you know, his, his top premiums, but it does show if a player of Phil's caliber has some some raises, yeah, some not raises. just shoves, even with with <laughs> good hands. And this is what he didn't want to see. 
Yeah, and it's 10 Can blinds. I just don't see Jeff with King Queen suited how you can fall with the 10 blinds. But who knows? Maybe decides with the ICM in play. But something tells me Phil's probably someone who's. Not, I'm, not, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go out and say he's probably a little bit less knowledgeable about ITM than some of the newer pros, but also probably someone who cares a little bit less about it as well. Yeah. Phil loves to win. <laughs> oh, he's trying everything, isn't he? <laughs> he doesn't have his Russia hat on today, which I'm worried about. That's uh, right, he's yeah, just he's working got him well. here. I don't know what that one is. Maybe that's. Doing some math, thinking about it. I mean, again, he's just going to have jacks, tens, nines, ace, ten, right. ace, jack, like he has. Doesn't want to see ace, queen, Phil ace, says king. But whatever. I'm going to take that. Yeah, it's a 40% chance to knock out a player and, well, get a pretty decent stack himself. Whatever, Sam. Whatever, you had a good feeling. <laughs> Mm. Well, that is a horrendous flop <laughs> for Phil. Reduced to just four outs. He can be killed by any heart. Jack is good card. Hello. Good card for Phil. Back in the game. Very Adel. good card. Another six outs popping out. Ace, king, queen, or nine that isn't a heart. Will send Webster to the rail. Oh That's exactly goodness. what it is. Good feeling. Whoa. It feels like a pretty bad beat once you've seen that flop. Yeah. Wow. For a lot of it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, see, this is a hand I would expect. To off, these are the hands to raise off this kind of stack. Queens, kings, ace, king. To be fair, though, so here, here's how I would approach that. I actually was just going over some of these spots, and it makes sense because you do want to have some raise folds. So right. if you're only min raising queens, kings, aces, ace, king suited, not that, you know, in a vacuum, not like everyone's going to know that, though, anyway, but you'd want to maybe have like a king, eight suited. You know, an ace, yeah, ace four, like, ace four, or some hands where you might want to raise fold, plug those in. But then, the hands like king ten suited, king jack suited, your pairs you want to shove. That's just like a, your smaller pairs. But but you can't just have min raises with aces and kings, or else then everyone's gonna be like, oh, that's the guy that just always has it. Matthias, king ten suited in the big. Is he thinking about doing something here? Yeah, I mean. Too. Call seems the call seems the, for the, sure the right play. The play like, but he's, he's, he's seen Phil's min raise. Oh, he is. And look at Phil's going to get a bite on, on this one. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Was like not falling this time, pal. We'll have some time to uh, train. I'm a, I'm a little bit interested about that. I guess. Uh, what did you have? Uh, seven. Eight, did you really? <laughs> you did it, right? Not just then. Oh, no. Not before that. Ah, oh, thank you. What's the difference? I'm going to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to see shit. What's wrong with you? I'm going to see it. I told you enough. I could tell you shit. <laughs> Ten, six, deuce, Matthias. Some extra outs. <laughs> Phil, though, looking pretty good for the double up here. Something's wrong with me. There is something wrong with me, obviously. <laughs> oh, there it is. Good luck. <laughs> Two outs, one card to come. Well, his Phil Ivy is off to play short deck. Here it is, Matthias. What a great start he's had, Jeff. So that's a tough spot when Ivy's sitting there asking you, and I'm going to see it soon because in Sam's mind, you know, like you don't want to be. I had Ace Four. Like he's. It's like you don't yeah. want to like kind of rattle him or like upset him, and then the next thing you know, the card hits and.